Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is a demonstration of the AC induction motor. So in the background over here, I have an AC induction motor that I'll pull apart and show you what is in it and how it works in a few more moments. But before then, I want to have a look at this little setup I've got here, which is going to try and explain um, how an induction motor like the one I've just pointed at um, works. So all I've got here, it's a very simple contraption. I have a turntable, which in a few more moments I can spin around. I've got a bar, um, a, it's a bar magnet, but it's just a horseshoe magnet. So one of these is a north and a south. It doesn't really matter which is which at this point. And above this, I'm going to suspend a nice, it would have been nice if it was horizontal. It keeps on changing its position. Um, just stuck a little bit of blue tack here. I'm just popping on to try and get the horizontal. It's not. Um, and I'm just going to suspend this copper plate above this magnet. Now, we, we know that copper is not a magnetic material, so there is absolutely no, um, there's no magnet, magnetic force here that is going to happen. So I'm just going to suspend it. I'll just get, take a few moments to try and get it nice and as horizontal as it's going to be. That's probably that. Okay, I'm just going to lower it a little bit further down. The top, yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll try putting a little bit of blue tack over here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so the situation is very straightforward. I've got a, a copper uh, wire, sorry, a copper, flat copper piece of, of copper suspended above a magnet. Okay. If I, I'm not in any way, um, just to prove that I'm not going to touch anything, it's just attached to a retort stand. There's the retort stand coming back down to here. Yeah. So I'm not fiddling around with this in any way. Okay. So I'll just get ready to go and just push you down so you can see underneath it. Good. Right. I'm ready to give this little baby a bull. So I'm about to give this a spin. And as I spin, you'll notice what happens to the sheet of copper above it. Okay, I'll just let the copper come back. It's just, um, it's, the string starts to get twined up in little, as it turns, so it acts as a little bit of a spring, so it wants to come back. Okay, I'll just get it again. Get it nice and still. Or any motion. Come on, stop. Okay, ready. Right so I'm about to turn it. And as you can see, the more I turn it, the more the copper wire the oops, I just hit that with my finger, so that's I'll just get it to go back. Okay, one more time. There's no motion at all at the moment, spinning the magnet around. And what is happening is that the copper plate is being dragged around by the magnetic, uh, sorry, by the magnet. Now we can explain this because we've now studied eddy currents and Faraday's law and Lenz's law, um, and we're towards the end of this module. So let's, let's now interpret what's going on here. So as I turn this, I turn the turntable, what I'm doing is above this magnet, I'm creating an area of changing magnetic field. And that changing magnetic field is inducing eddy currents in the flat conductor. It's eddy currents because it is an extended flat conductor here. And as I spin this around, those eddy currents are going to try and oppose the motion of the magnet. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to um, totally oppose. They will just try and oppose. And as they do, they're getting dragged along um, in the same direction. So even though they try to oppose, they haven't got enough force to oppose. And as a result, they get dragged around, just like you would be dragged in front of a car if you try to oppose it um, by standing in the middle of a highway. So um, as we turn around, this copper sheet gets turned in the same direction as the ma magnetic field spin. Right, 
So how does this um, describe what is happening with an AC induction motor? Well, let's have a look at what an AC induction motor looks like. So let's move this stuff out of the road. And let's bring this in. Okay. This is an AC induction motor, or just an AC motor, because it's um, all, most of them, all AC motors are really induction. This is an AC motor from a washing machine. So when I pull it apart and look inside, we see that it looks nothing like the, um, the DC induction motor at all, sorry, the DC motor at all. The DC motor has a, um, a loop of wire in the middle of a magnetic field and it's turned into commutators. Let's have a look at the structure of this one. So pulling out this shaft, just get rid of the other side. The first thing is the rotor itself, grease here, this is the rotor, okay? The rotor is in the form of a disc, a whole series of discs. Uh, we've got to get that right in the right place so you can see it. A series of discs that have been glued together um, forming, they're just very, very thin layers come together. We know why that happens, don't we? That's lamination. And this is to reduce eddy currents in a few more moments. Um, and that's to reduce heating, of course. We want eddy currents because it's the reason why it is um, moving. And it's attached to a an axis, which enables this to spin on itself like that. Okay, so that's the rotor. And that's the one that we want to rotate. Right. Let's have a look at the other part of it. The other part is, um, apart from the armature, let's get this right in the right place for you, um, we have uh, magnetic coils, sorry, um, just some coils which will become electromagnetic magnets and we want to replace a current in them. So what we've got here, we've got pairs of coils. So you'll see that those two form a pair. Then there's another pair of coils here, a pair of coils there and so on. We use, we use the, um, the AC voltage from the power points and that normally comes in different phases to switch on se um, sequentially each of these coils. So let's just say we start with this coil up here being north. That means it's the exact one on the other side is a south. So there's a north-south pair of coils there. Then we'll turn it off and then we'll put turn this one on. So the north would go from being in this position, uh, so I'm doing it backwards, so this would, to this position, and let's try it this one, from this one to this one to this one to this one. So the north travels around sequentially. And this happens at remarkable speed, at the speed of 50 hertz. Okay? And as it goes around, the spindle that is inside let's get that in the right place, gets dragged along with it. Okay, just similar to the copper sheet a few moments ago, getting dragged along by the rotating magnetic field. Here, the, remote, ro the rotating magnetic field is a series of electro um, of uh, electromagnets on the outside, and so the coil, just put that down so you can see it. The magnetic field rotates around here very rapidly and drags the spindle in the center around with it. This is an a induction motor because what it does is the changing magnetic field as it goes around here induces eddy currents in the flat surface of this, um, of the spindle. And those eddy currents um, have to oppose the motion of the magnetic field that is creating them. So the, the magnetic field is a rotating magnetic field around and around the outside. And it tries to oppose it, but unfortunately, being Lenz's law, um, it can't fully oppose and it then um, gets dragged along. So if the magnetic field is going this direction, so too does the spindle. Okay. Um, 
the, we don't want this to heat up. So in the opposite direction, so move that away, that's rolling towards you. So we want the eddy currents to be formed in the flat surfaces of each of these disks, but we also don't want heating. So we minimize heating as much as possible by lamination in this direction. We also want to make this as light as possible because it's really, really heavy if you have a feel of this. Um, and so you'll see that if we look in very closely, if I can get that to go right, that there are holes bored into each of these. Um, there's a hole just there, uh, just behind down and in the black section underneath there. there we are. Um, that's to try and make this even lighter. Okay, so this is an AC induction motor. I hope you realise that it is entirely a different um, format to a normal um, DC motor. Um, these are the types of motors that you'll find in the fans at the top of the lab. So all of those fans up on the roof, if I can find one, uh, there's one, okay. That there is a, has an AC induction motor in it. Um, these are great for um, places where you don't really want a lot of torque, but you want a lot of um, emotion. Okay, so now I hope that it helps you understand the way that an AC induction motor works. It uses AC, so it's not DC, and it uses induction because it induces um, eddy currents into the spindle and the spindle then turns. Now the name of this spindle can be called a few things. It's the rotor. Um, sometimes it's called a squirrel cage. You might find some references to it being called a squirrel cage. Um, it's a different, they all have different structures um, and they all have different purposes. Okay, um, I hope you um, got, uh, sorry, I hope you've worked out what to do with this one with the, um, the rest of the instructions are on compass now. Thank you.